Hey, Yusufu, I'm Gabby. And I'm Abby. Abby, have you seen any balloons at grad parties recently? No. Emma Ray and Ian have the story. Most people think of helium as an element that we learn in our chemistry class. Or a gas that you use to fill up balloons at a party. But helium has many other uses for us around the world. Uh, helium is an element, it's the second lightest element, and I think it is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. We use it for party balloons, for um, MRIs. Unfortunately, what we thought is just an element is slowly fading. Fading, like we never imagined before. And this is not a joke. In fact, many stores around our area, including Party City, have started to close. But this news hasn't reached everyone. Two, three days before I went to go to Dollar Tree, I was talking with Olivia because I had to get it planned out for uh, Jordan's pro prom proposal. And she was like, oh yeah, there's a shortage on helium. And I was like, all right, well, that's not really going to affect me. I was like, it's never going to, you know, like, they're not going to tell me there's no helium. And then I finally was like, all right, can I get six of these yellow balloons? And she was like, oh no, there's no helium. Sorry, there's like a shortage. It's not confirmed why this is happening, but it's easy to assume. Kind of overuse with it. Um, or not overuse, but just more people using it for things. And it, it, I mean, it's not a renewable resource. So remember Eastview, don't take the little things for granted, because one day they might just disappear. Signing off for The Flash, I'm Emma Ray. And I'm Ian. Loss is never easy. But some people find inspiration through the grief. Brady has a story. Uh, to get myself in the attitude of wanting to do a workout is I just, I have a thing for my brother, and everything I do now, I dedicate to him. The Thursday was the anniversary date, two years. So we went up to Duluth Wednesday night, and then stayed up with the family, because he used to live in Duluth. Um, it was a Tuesday, just normal track practice. I got in, my mom was crying on the couch. She grabbed me and like hugged me and said, it's Dion, that hurt. Like, I, didn't, I don't know, I just went to a state of shock and didn't know what happened. I later found out uh, he died of a drug overdose, so I came back and like it was sections, and I didn't run, but I went with the team. Yeah, I have the necklace I have for him. It was his uh, tag he had for football. Mrs. Greener, uh, I was in the office one day. Uh, it was the second time I've ever talked to her, and she said I should live my life to the best like I can and to the fullest because he can't. Not like hey live your life like li like how I was doing it and like just being depressed all the time. So everything I do, I try my hardest and I just put my all into it because I do it for him. The track meet tonight, uh, I'm ready for it. I'm gonna go out there and give him my all, but I just know as long as I put my best effort into this and no matter how I place today, I did my best. ECU students and faculty come from different backgrounds and cultures. Ikra went to an interfaith meeting where an ECU student talked about her faith in a small group. Uh, we want to again say salam alaikum, that means peace be upon you. And the classic response would be wa alaikum salam, that means peace upon you as well. In a small mosque outside of Rosemount, a community is forming in a very unique way. So I was in this interfaith event. Uh, I think we had like one or two hosts at each table that would answer the individual questions. We would open the mic for the bigger questions, basically. Dialogues like these are breaking barriers between um, Muslims and Jews and Christians. And there really isn't a lot of like intermixing between the three different faiths. Um, and this is because we have all these like misconceptions of one another. Misconceptions create barriers. Oh, I wanted to tell you that this is the very first taking heart if tarot this year. So you're setting an incredibly high bar. <laughs> and it's up to us to break them down. It's like really a two-way street because even though the Muslims were hosting the event, the Christians and the Jews that were sitting at the tables with us would teach us about their religion too, which was nice. It helps Muslims, you know, really like find a place where they feel comfortable in their community. It helps us not feel so closed off. Bring different communities together, which is always nice because you'll always find common ground in something. So, and this time it was religion. Sending off with a flash, this is Akra. Hey, did you hear that Jake's coming out with a new movie? No. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the credits. credits. Jake, you have to let it go. Okay, there's, there's nothing you could have done, it's over.
Hey, Jake, you doing better, buddy? Yeah, dude, I'm I'm doing much better today. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna grab some food. Do you wanna come with? Uh, I'm gonna finish up some stuff, the story, and then probably edit some stuff. Okay, around that's, here. that's all good. I'll be back in like an hour or so. Okay. See you in a little bit. Awesome. Yeah. It's like something's controlling you. Jake, come on, dude. Jake, you need to stop! Hey, Spew. I'm Jake. I can't let him do this, Jake. You can't stop me. Jake Flash, Jake Flash, it's my show, Jake Flash, it's my show, Jake Flash.